Okay, this division question is a, a little different, a little bit of a twist in it. So let's consider let's consider this one here. Four and fifty-six hundredths divided by eight tenths. Okay, so we can run through the, the typical questions that we have so far. Which one of these is our divisor? That's right, it's our 8 tenths. That would make this one our what? Our dividend, that's correct. Okay. Now we pop it under the hood here. Whoops. Um, 4 decimal 5, 6. And we're going to divide by 0 decimal 8. Now when I see this, I, uh, I don't like that. I don't like having this decimal right here in my divisor. It makes me sad. It kind of freaks me out. It makes me afraid. <laughs> so we want to get rid of it. So what we're going to do is we're, we really are going to get rid of it. We're going to take it. We're going to move it. Oh, whoops. Crap. We're going to take this and we're going to move it over there. So then it's just 8 instead of 8 tenths. But if we do it there... That means we have to take this one and also move it over 1. And that would make it 45 decimal 6. Okay. So now what's happened is that we've changed our question to this. Now it's just 8. And our number under the hood here is 45.6. Because we have moved the decimal in both numbers, um, we're going to get the same answer. It's, it's equivalent. This question right here will give you the same answer as this question because we move the decimal in both numbers. So you'll get the exact, exact same answer. Okay? So let's do it. Okay, um, again, first thing we always do is we take our decimal and move it up there so we don't forget about it. Now, does 8 go into 4? No, it does not. Again, put a 0 there if you'd like. Does 8 go into 45? It sure does. How many times does it go in? It goes uh, 5 times. 5 times 8 is 40. Do our subtraction. Uh, 45 take away 40. It leaves us with 5. We bring down our 6. Now we've got to go 8 into 56. And that's a big number. Sorry, I used that as an example again. Uh, but how many times does 8 go into 56? You bet it goes 7 times. And 7 times 8 is exactly 56. When we subtract them, we get 0. And then we go, yay, we're done. So up here, back up here, um, 0 and 8 tenths goes into 4 and 56 hundredths a little over 5 times, 5 and 7 tenths of a time.